He invites us to come to him, no matter what's happening in our lives. And he assures us he will be there for us, that we'll find rest in him, for his yoke is easy and his burden light. That invitation is why we have a jubilee today. That invitation is why at the preface of each mass, we, the people of God, say in some form, always and everywhere, it is right to give thanks and praise to God. This is why we jubilarians come before you and why you join us in allowing our heart to bubble up and overflow with true joy and gratitude. To our faithful God, we say thank you. And to you who have been sister to us, we say thank you. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. Thank you, Julie, for your beautiful words. And as you remind us of God's outrageous generosity, we, your sisters, and all of us gathered here today recognize the outrageous generosity of our sister jubilarians and the gift of their life. And so we are grateful, and we say thank you for your all that you are, for your contemplative, prayerful presence, for the witness of Franciscan sisterhood that you have consistently given to us over the years, and for your service in the various ministries of which you have engaged. Today, you will once again hold a lighted candle in your hand and renew your vows. It is a declaration of love and fidelity that you continue with your God. And we thank you for your generous yes to God and for your devotion and commitment to us and to the church. Through all of these years, in the joyful moments and in the challenges of life, you trusted in the providence of God. And perhaps that was the answer to the grace of perseverance that so many offered. And because of your witness, all of us have also grown. You are an inspiration and a sign of hope and joy to us and to the world. So we rejoice with you today as we give all praise, all glory, and all blessing to our Most High God. And I invite you now to renew your vows. Sisters, what God has begun in you, may God bring to fulfillment. Amen. For all people of faith and their leaders, 
especially Pope Francis. We pray. For those who hunger and thirst for justice, and for all who work for peace. We pray. For our jubilarians and their family members, living and deceased, we pray. May the Lord show his face to have mercy on you. May the Lord smile upon you.